Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Let's take a look at how we can create this simple dimple texture background in Photoshop. We're going to bring back the Photoshop interface and I will close this document. We're going to go ahead and create a new document. The new document, we're going to give it a name. Let's call this dimple. I'm just going to throw a little place marker on there for me. And we're going to set the width to 10 and the height to 12. Resolution can remain at 72. Go ahead and hit OK. We'll get this tiny little square here to quickly zoom it all the way in. We're going to hit Command or Control Zero. It's going to bring it way up so we can see it. We're going to go Edit, Fill, and we're going to fill this with 50% gray just so we can see what we're doing as far as the dimples are concerned. Great. Now that we've done that, we're going to grab the Elliptical Marquee Tool. Now we want to make sure we're drawing out a selection on a very pixel by pixel level um, and just essentially count the pixels we're uh, drawing out. So we're going to go Window, Info to open up our Info panel. And we're going to keep an eye on the width and height measurements. I'm going to hold down my Shift key and I'm just going to pull any ellipse out of the top corner of the document. And I'm looking for four pixels by four pixels, just like that. Perfect. I'm going to go Layer, New Layer. And I'm going to name this layer Dimple. Hit OK. And we're going to fill this with black. Alt Backspace, that'd be Option Return on the Mac. Command or Control D to deselect. Hit V to grab your Move tool. And we're going to nudge this down one and to the right one. So just bump, bump, just like that. Collapse the info panel. And we're going to go layer, layer style, drop shadow. We're going to throw a simple drop shadow underneath this. We're going to set the blend mode to normal and the color to white. You can see it's floating in there, but not anywhere near where we want it. Deselect use global light. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Set the distance to 1 and the size to 0. Just going to be a little tiny line right below our circle. It looks kind of rough because we're zoomed into 3200% right here. Now, go ahead and hit OK. We want to duplicate this dimple. Command or Control J. It's going to pop it right up and uh, onto a new layer as well. So two dimples. Grab the Move tool, Hotkey V. Nudge this guy down until we have a one pixel gap between our two dimples and then nudge it all the way over until it's against the right side of the document. So just nuzzle it right down there in the bottom right corner of the document. We're going to grab our background layer and drag it down to the garbage can. We just have these spots essentially hovering over a transparent background, which is exactly what we want. Go ahead and hit Edit, Define Pattern. We're going to name this pattern Dimples, like that. I'm going to give it a capital D because I'm picky, and I'm going to hit OK. You can actually close this document at this point. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it open. We're going to go ahead and create a new document to test out our pattern on. So I'm going to name this Dimple Test. And we're going to set the width to 1280, height 720, hit OK. And we're going to fill this with a dark gray. Actually, let's just bring up the Hue Saturation Adjustment, which is Command or Control U. Right there. We're going to set the brightness to negative 80, so very dark. Hit OK. And we're going to go filter, render, lighting effect. And this is about what we want just an oval that's going to look like a spotlight is shining down on our document, something like that. All of the settings can remain default negative 35, a color of white, uh, 69. All, all of this stuff is just going to remain the same. So if you need to pause it for a moment and get my settings, go ahead and do that. Hit OK. It's going to give us a nice spotlight effect. And now that we've done that, you could just unlock the background layer and apply the pattern to this layer. But I like to keep my stuff kind of broken up into individual layers so I can quickly access it later if I need to change something. So I'm just going to go layer, new layer. There's really no, not much advantage to doing it this way. This is just the way I do stuff sometimes. And I can be weird about the way I do stuff. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to name it Dimples, or you can name it Dimple Texture or whatever. Hit OK. There we go. And we're going to fill this layer with black. So Alt Backspace again fills this layer with black. To this black layer, we're going to apply that pattern. So we're going to go Layer, Layer Style, Pattern Overlay. And you're going to have your pattern that you created here in the Pattern dropdown. You can see I've got two sets of dimples. The newest one is one we just created. And you can see we have our dimples. I'm going to zoom in so we can take a closer look at them. You can see that they're in there. It really just looks like a little uh, inverted C or a sideways C or something like that because the black is just blending with the black background. Now, this is kind of important. We're going to go to Blending Options and we're going to kill off all of the fill opacity, drag that down to zero. And you can see now that our dimples are appearing over our sort of lit background that we created, just like that. But they're far too intense. When we created these dimples, we just did it with solid black and solid white on purpose because I knew that here in the pattern overlay, I can control the opacity. So I just went for the highest contrast, black to white. And then I can just come in here and reduce the opacity to something like 20, 25. Let's go with 30 just so it's a little easier to see. Hit OK. Zoom out to 100%. And we have this very cool dimpled texture effect. That's it for this tutorial. Very, very simple. I hope you learned a thing or two. Please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com for more great video tutorials. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter 
at Tutvid. Thanks for watching.